All right, let's get to Chris. I know we were concerned about Hurricane Idalia that is now pushed on. Now is Hurricane Lee. I guess it's been upgraded. It has. It's now a Category 5 storm that is at the top of the categories right now. And you can see just this massive system here and that very tight eye, very well-defined eye that's out in the central Atlantic right now. Hurricane hunters have been flying in this tonight, gathering some very important data, and that's when they upgraded it to a Category 5 hurricane. And you can see where this is in relation to the northern Leeward Islands, also to Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas right here, and then, of course, the eastern coast of the United States. So it's still really far away from any land masses. So here's a look at the latest advisory that came in at 11 o'clock. Look at these max winds at 160 miles an hour, gusting to 195, almost 200 mile per hour wind gusts with this storm right now. It has undergone a rapid intensification during the day today. So here is the latest track. This could get up to 180 mile an hour winds during the day tomorrow still is at category five and then down to a category four most likely as we go through the last part of the weekend and into the beginning of next week. You can see that the cone does not hit any of the islands here and the last plot here goes on to Tuesday at eight o'clock in the evening. So I want to show you the spaghetti models because that goes beyond that a little bit and this is what I want you to see. The models have been pretty consistent with this taking a turn up toward the north and away from the Atlantic coastline. But what we're going to have to wait and see about is just when that turn would happen. If it happens earlier, it takes it up closer to the uh, Bermuda area. If it happens later, it gets closer to the Bahamas and the U.S. coastline. Now, even though there's not a direct hit, winds could impact Puerto Rico. Definitely some rough surf there, rough surf there in the Bahamas and maybe some wind. And we'll wait and see if any of that wind or the rough surf comes into the Atlantic coastline too. Margo is a tropical storm well out into the Atlantic. It's not going to impact the United States. It's just going to hang out there and become a hurricane. So you see tonight we're going to be dry here in our area in the morning dry. Tomorrow is going to be a great day. No tropical influences on us with dry weather in our area. No rain around. But then on Saturday, the humidity levels start coming back. We will introduce a chance for some isolated showers, mainly in the afternoon hours. See, that doesn't look that impressive. It's just that pop up variety that'll develop here. A lot of us will make it through Saturday with no rain at all. Pretty much the same thing on Sunday, going with a 30% chance for showers both days. Highs at 88 Saturday, 86 on Sunday. Monday looks good. And then a 20 to 30% chance for showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as we cool back down to the mid 80s.